when you have a cross section that is extruded along a pass that cross section is governed by a profile family in revit today in this episode we are going to learn about how to create a profile family taking an example of a railing let's begin i have this railing here if i go into the type properties the top rail has a top rail properties here if i go further into the properties of the top rail you'll see that the profile that it is using is profile handrail rectangular 50 by 50 millimeters family this rectangular cross section is this one let's say i want to change this cross section into this how do i do it for this we'll need to create a new profile family let's go into file new family and i'm going to choose profile rail.rft if you're creating a profile for something else you may choose the relevant profile if you do not have a relevant profile for example if you want to create a roof gutter you do not really have a specific profile family for it you can of course go into the regular generic profile family and go into the categories section and change the profile usage to gutter you can also do the same thing for rail but i like to use the template which is given into the library because it contains some annotations so this horizontal reference plane that you see is going to be the top of your rail the vertical reference plane is going to be the center of your rail so your sketch needs to be here now profile families are 2d families you really do not create any 3d geometry here you just need to sketch this cross section profile so let's go ahead and sketch our profile i'm going to create a line which is about 30 millimeters in width and 60 millimeters in its length i'm going to create another line at about here i'll go 10 millimeters up five up five up five up and maybe then i want to create a curve like this and a fillet somewhere like this maybe i also want to convert this into an arc and trim all the parts now let's mirror this one on the other side now this is an approximate sketch but of course if you have specific manufacturer guidelines you can really make it as accurate as you like once you have completed the sketch make sure it's always a closed loop with no overlaps and no intersections and i'm going to save this one as a profile custom rail let's load it into the project now we need to assign this profile family to our top rail. I'm going to select my railing, go into the type properties, look for my top rail and go to the type properties of my top rail. Let's duplicate this, call it custom. And I'm going to change my profile from handrail rectangular family into the profile custom rail. And I'm going to say okay to this you can see how our cross section is extruded along the path of my railing creating profile families as simple as that simply create the 2d sketch of the cross section and you're done and the same process is used to create a profile family for roof fascias or roof gutters wall sweeps reveals staircase nosing curtain wall mullions slab edges and you name it I hope you enjoyed today's session. In the next few episodes, we are going to explore more 2D families, such as customizing grid head, level head, section heads, uh, north arrow symbols, and so on. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.